Georgia and Alabama as the Omicron variant continues to spread following the holidays. Georgia is averaging over 8,000 cases per day over the last seven days. The state also seeing an average of 1,893 hospitalizations over a seven-day period. In Alabama, there's been an average of 1,747 cases per day over the last seven days. Alabama seeing an average of 593 hospitalizations over a seven-day period. Another COVID surge hitting East Alabama Health the Hospital System, reporting record high visits to their emergency departments in Lee and Chambers County, just as alarming COVID hospitalizations have doubled since Christmas. WRBL News 3's Elizabeth White has the latest. So over the holiday weekend, we definitely have seen um, a, a big surge in the number of cases, um, both um, in our emergency departments, all three of our emergency departments actually, uh, at the Opelika campus, our freestanding ER in Auburn, and also at the Valley campus at EAMC Lanier. We also have seen um, our COVID hospitalizations go from around 8 to 11, um, up to today, which is 21. Uh, so um, there's been quite a change over the last several days. East Alabama Health pleading with the community, please only visit their ERs if you need critical emergency care. Our ERs have seen record number of visits, um, all three of our ERs over the last three days. Um, and so that's concerning because um, we want to make sure that those who really need critical care or emergency care are being able to be seen and evaluated. So we really encourage those who are only needing a COVID test or wanting to know if they're COVID positive to please use other resources and not uh, emergency room. For now, East Alabama Health is not planning on reopening a testing site as staff is needed to care for patients. Urgent cares, doctor's offices, pharmacies, and even at-home kits, if you can find them, can provide answers. Because we are seeing things spread so rapidly, um, you know, we feel like that um, Omicron is definitely here. Vaccination is the number one thing that we have to fight this, this disease, this virus. Um, you know, if you haven't been vaccinated, please continue to consider it. Um, if you've been fully vaccinated, get your booster. Reporting in Opelika, Elizabeth White, WRBL News 3 on your side. East Alabama Health is limiting visits due to high COVID transmission. Visitation is at the red level. For more information on what this means, if you have a loved one in the hospital, you can visit our website at WRBL.com. Don't miss out on breaking news.